All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to calculate uh, the final temperature of both of these materials, and we're going to use uh, the Q equals Q formula. We know the Q formula, Q equals MC delta T, and we know that delta T is either temperature final minus temperature initial or temperature initial minus temperature final. So the way that I do it is I have you guys um, set up a Q equals Q formula because basically what we're going to look at is all the energy that comes out of the aluminum is going to go into the water. So what we're going to do is we're going to set those, we're going to set the formula to show that and then be because both of those Qs have the same final temperature, we can solve for that final temperature because it's on both sides and it's our only variable. So let's jot down some of our our uh, our givens. So our givens, uh, we have the mass of the aluminum at two kilograms. We have the mass of the water at eight kilograms. We have uh, the C of the aluminum, 900. We have the C for water as 4,184. We also have uh, the temperature initial of aluminum is 100. And we have the temperature initial for water is 25. So that is enough for us to get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a Q equals Q formula. We're going to say M C delta T equals M C delta T. We're going to plug in what we know. So the mass, we're going to make one of the sides water, one of the sides aluminum. So we'll say aluminum is on the left. So we have the mass of the aluminum times the C of the aluminum is 900. And then this is where you have to make sure for your delta T, we're going to use one of these equations. So we need to use the one that's going to give us a positive answer. So aluminum is starting at 100, and it's being mixed with a colder water. So the temperature is going to go down on aluminum. So I always put a number to it. So I say, let's just say we finalize at 80. If we do 80 minus 100, then 80 minus 100 is going to give us a positive or a negative answer. So that's one's not going to work. So if we do this guy, which is 100, this is the initial temperature of aluminum, minus 80, that's going to give us a positive answer, so we're going to use that one. So temperature initial is 100 minus temperature final. All right, mass of the water, we're going to do uh, 8 times 4,184. And then we're going to use the opposite. So because we use this one for aluminum, we're going to use this one for water. We're going to do TF minus our initial for uh, water, which is 25. At this point, we're going to combine our answers. We're going to simplify a little bit. So 2 times 900 is going to be 1,800. We're just going to carry everything over. 8 times 4,184, 33, 4, 72. TF minus 25, 1800. Just put a line here so we're. So we have 180,000 minus 1800 TF, 33, 472 TF. So what I'm doing is just distributing, right? So I'm distributing. And then we just put that by 25. And we get 836 800. And now we're going to combine like terms. So I always go in the positive because it's, I'd rather deal with a positive than the negative. So I'm going to add 1800 TF to both sides. Add it to the like terms. We get 180,000. 
these go away. Equals 33472 plus 18,000, 35, 272, TF, minus 836, 800. Add that to both sides to get rid of it. Plus 180,000 plus 836,800. I get 1,016,800. 100, water started at 25. Our answer should be somewhere between it. 28 is definitely in between 100 and 25.